It's funny how your life can change so much. You almost forget the way it used to be. It's great being a part of Lolly Rock, and even more amazing to secretly be a magical princess. But all of this makes it hard to do the things I used to do, like just hang out with Nathaniel and, well, just be. Sometimes I think I miss my old life. Friendship never ends. Thanks for volunteering to be the entertainment at my Clean the Beach event. Are you kidding? We used to love coming to this beach as kids. Yeah, I remember. We had a lot of fun here, didn't we? Yeah. Cheese! Huh? That's a nice picture. Uploading onto the blog right now. Bam! <laughs> so, apart from playing your rockin' tunes and cleaning up the beach, what else are you looking forward to at this event? Uh, well, the kite flying, the sand sculpture contest, and the surfing exhibition. <gasps> Chill, Doug. I know you're working hard on the blog and all, but we're at the beach trying to have fun. I am having fun. I'm covering the event for my blog. Yeah, like Iris said, some of the event's happening over there. You should go cover it. All right. I just thought an interview would help Iris and her band communicate with their fans, but if they're not interested... We really don't have anything to say to our fans. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'll totally talk to our fans. I'm camera ready. And my hair is perfectly backlit right now. <laughs> it sure is. The beach is officially 15 paper cups, 8 napkins, and 5 cans cleaner. That's a nice huh? picture. I don't mean to be rude to Doug, but the more he's into our business, the harder it is to keep our identities a secret. Unfortunately, part of being famous is giving up our privacy. All that I'm saying is that some things must remain private. Uh, just turn a little to your left. <laughs> Ouch! Uh. <gasps> hmm. uh. Huh? <laughs> it's okay. He didn't see anything. He didn't see anything, but we did. <laughs> I don't like this. Sorry, he's just really enthusiastic about his blog. I meant, I don't like this. <laughs> Away with you, little monster! <laughs> well, I hate to leave you guys, but I need to get ready to ride some waves. Will you be watching? <gasps> yeah, I don't know if I'll have time with all this trash to pick up. Hmm. <sighs> oh, will you hang on to this for me? It's kind of my lucky charm. <laughs> Shouldn't you be wearing it? I don't want to lose it in the water. I'd feel safer if you had it. Thanks. <laughs> Amaru! Aw, oh, poor little thing. Hey, where are you going? Sorry, but heartwarming animal stories are super popular. What's so important? Have you finally succeeded at something? Almost, your wretchedness. While spying on the princesses earlier today, I was inspired to create an unbeatable monster. Okay, ready? Ta-da! Is your unbeatable monster? Well, it's not finished yet. Uh, it's still too... Cute. Oh, fine. Use it to defeat the princesses, then inform me of your success. Yes. If they fail, 
you may eat them. of pretanzing back home. I know, right? But without the bees dingles, remember when all the competitors got eaten? Who could forget? Huh? Don't worry. I'm sure there are no bees dingles on Earth. That's nice to know. I guess. <gasps> there they go! Yeah! <laughs> I can't see a thing with this. Like I'm right on the surfboard next to that cutie. <gasps> Ooh, and that one. Oh, and that one. Oh, there's Nathaniel about to. Oh, yeah. to... <gasps> no, Nathaniel! <laughs> Could your crush be any more obvious? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sweet. Can I quote you on that? You know about how you think Nathaniel's sweet? Um, that's not what I said. And I totally forgot you were there. Ah! Mm. Iris, I know you're upset, but do you really have to use your magic now? It wasn't me, I swear. Must be a freaky weather coincidence. Now, I need to see if Nathaniel... Could you speak up a little? Uh, for the blog, of course. Uh -huh. Iris, that wasn't me either. weather. No. And I've got a hunch. Ah! Crystal Valorum! <gasps> Figures, you two ruin everything. Sorry for crashing your beach party, but we just couldn't wait to show it to you. Show what to us? Uh, it's all around us. <gasps> My brother is very excited about it. Humor him. Uh, the sand? I mean, it's totally getting in my hair. But other than that... It's indestructible! But I think we're done here. Huh? <clears throat> hmm. Indestructible. Congratulations! <gasps> you figured out our new monster's one weakness. Hmm. But perhaps we've discovered your weakness. Ooh, here's a nice picture of Ariana. And another one. Ariana, Ariana, Ariana. Okay, let's skip these. Uh, aha! Your weakness! Some guy I hardly know? Maybe you know him, maybe you don't. But we bet you're foolish enough to want to save his precious little human life. <laughs> ah!
anything? Hmm. I miss. I found this. I think it hit some rocks. Oh no! That's Nathaniel's surfboard. Well, at least you know he wasn't on it when it smashed to pieces. He was grabbed away by the evil wind. I, I, I mean, that's not what I meant. Don't worry. We'll find him. I promise. Thanks, Doug. Um, could you do me a huge favor and see if you can find a megaphone? That way we can call out for Nathaniel before it gets too dark. I'm on it. Are we really gonna do that? No. I just needed to get rid of him so we could cast a locator spell and find Nathaniel using this. <gasps> oh, ooh, you are so clever. Crystal Locum Ostendere! Took him to a boat. I've seen that boat further down the beach. Show me. They've got him in there, trapped in black crystal. Okay, how do we get him back? I think the best strategy is. It wasn't oh. easy, but I found one. It even has a siren, see? Nathaniel! Hey, Nate, where are you? Okay, new plan. Beach princesses. But aren't you three a bit too old to be playing in the sand? Don't worry, we're not here to play. Iris, Princess of Ophidia. Your monster was weak. Think so, princesses? Well, think again. Goron Vickle Sans Remore! Hello to my upgraded creation. Now say goodbye to it. <laughs> it's not working. Our attacks are passing through. There has to be a way to stop it. Oh, I'm sure there probably is. But you don't have time to figure it out. I 
I've created an extra special spell. <sighs> Once it hears these three magic words, it will attack you with every grain of sand in its body. Sand monster! Kalatu <gasps> Barada Sand monster, listen to my magic words! Klatu Barada Will you stop that? Couldn't you have just made it a hand signal or something? Why did you make it so hard? I didn't make it hard. I made it easy. Three simple words. How do we destroy it? You can't destroy sand. No, but you can turn it into something else. Glass. They use sand to make glass. So how do you turn sand into glass? Heat. <gasps> We're going to need a lot of heat. Too bad we don't have the sun. We have millions of suns, every star in the sky. If we channel the light from the stars, let's do it. Crystal Magnificado! Unbeatable sand monster, huh? Wait! This could still work! It hasn't been destroyed yet! Did you hear that? He says it isn't destroyed yet. Well, we can fix that. Cirrus! Volta! Ephidia! I was surfing and then, where am I? This crazy windstorm blew you out here. Everyone was so worried about you. Everyone? Everyone. From now on, you need to wear your lucky charm. Everyone will worry less. Hey, my smartphone. <laughs> I totally thought it was gone forever and I'd never. <laughs> Maybe I'll use it later. Glad you're okay, Nate. Iris, the beach, it's a mess. Hey, guys, behold the power of the blog. I'll have this beach filled with people to help. Wow, thank you, Doug. Yeah! <laughs> this song is dedicated to everyone who came back today to help us clean the beach. Again! Raise your hand. up is that you can never go back to the way things used to be. Things change. People change. I realize that you won't miss the old ways as long as you make the best of every day. 
and are thankful for all the great things and people you have in your life.